Welcome to the Speak With People podcast. My name is Jason Rates, and I'll be your host today. I'm so excited that you are joining us because here at Speak With People, you've heard me say it before, we believe that healthy communication is oxygen for your relationships and your leadership. Healthy communication is oxygen. When you get your communication healthy, you breathe life into people. But if you're not taking the time to make sure your communication's uh, healthy, it's going to be unhealthy, and it's going to suck the life out of people. It's going to drain the life out of people. That's not what you want because all of a sudden you'll be putting up walls between you and other people. And everything will exponentially decrease in your life. So that's why we're so excited about this podcast because we want to help provide you with simple skills to be able to communicate in healthy ways. If you've never visited our webpage, speakwithpeople.com slash podcast, go check it out. Send it to a friend. We would absolutely love if you would do that. And Make sure you subscribe on Apple and Spotify and wherever you uh, listen to podcasts. If you've never left a review, it would be an honor if you would go and leave a review because that would be absolutely incredible. Well, today we are starting a brand new series, brand new series on this podcast called Lead With People, Not At Them. Yes, we're taking another step down the road of with or at. And if you've listened, followed this podcast for any amount of time, you know that we're passionate about raising up leaders who would rather communicate with people, lead with people, present with people, be virtual with people, than speak at, lead at, present at, be virtual at. Like we, we would rather live in the with paradigm than the at paradigm. Because Honestly, the at paradigm is an unhealthy version of you as a leader. And we don't want that. None of us wants that. We've all been there. We want to strive to do everything we possibly can to not be there again. So that's why we're doing this series. And it is a mega series. We're going to go through the, the guests here in a second. But before we get there, I just want to challenge you. Maybe you've worked in a place where you, you've experienced that kind of unhealthy leading at leadership. Maybe some different things are coming to mind. Uh, for me, uh, I remember going way back, 1995, I worked at a restaurant called Mountain Jack's. It was a steakhouse. Oh, I loved it. Started as a busboy. Then all of a sudden, I'm a cook. Then all of a sudden, I'm a salad cook. Then I'm a line cook. Then a prep cook. Now I'm a sous chef, and I'm, I'm the number two guy. And I worked for this incredible chef. His name was Chef James. He was just awesome. Every time the man walked into the building, he just breathed life into people not only with his energy, but also his uh, vibrancy, his words, the way that he was able to just speak life into people. I mean, it was, it was un, un, unreal. He just honored people wherever he went. And he just brought fun and laughter and life. And he could challenge you. I mean, we had so many challenging conversations. But we could be in the midst of the busiest dinner rush in the world. And Chef James got music on in the background. Different line cooks are dancing. We've got tickets everywhere. And all of a sudden, five hours goes by, and we hit everything perfectly. Like, our restaurant had the best numbers in, in, the, in the whole region. Unfortunately, Chef James, James left. So his leadership, leading with people, left. They hired a new guy. New guy comes in. New guy's absolutely different than Chef James, and we're all trying to give him a, give him a, a chance. That evening, the dinner rush starts happening. And we're doing our thing. Music's on. <clears throat> all the departments are talking to each other. We're like, we're just knocking things out. All of a sudden, he steps right in the middle of us all. And he's like, everybody, every single thing goes through me from this point on. And turn off that beeping music. Totally changed the whole tone of everything. Now, he was the boss. He could, he could decide to lead that way. But it just really put a wrench into everything. And by the end of the night, we had missed orders. So many things were sent back. He was yelling all the time. He wanted waiters and waitresses and line cooks and everybody to come through him instead of trusting his team to communicate. It was absolutely awful. He exhibited leading at. Like, what changed? What was the big giant change? The change was he, he didn't realize that his number one role as a leader is to be obsessed with helping his team succeed instead of being obsessed to help himself succeed. And that's at the heart of leading with people, not at them. See, when you lead at people, you don't prioritize your health. A lot of times you prioritize your physical health because you're very concerned with the outward appearance. And rightfully so, our bodies are very, very important. But if you don't also put the same amount of attention into your emotional, mental, financial, relational, spiritual, you're going to have a great exterior, 
but your inside is going to be just mess. It's going to be just a mess all over the place. You got you to prioritize your health. Uh, and uh, in a couple of weeks, you're going to find out about something Speak With People's doing called Speak Like a Leader. This is a brand new training course that we're launching that is for the everyday leader who's like, you know what? It's time for me to finally lose the nervousness, the ums. It's finally time for me to be able to stand up in a staff meeting and speak with confidence and clarity. It's time for me to do presentations that just rock. This course is for you. The first module, we look at our health and we, we go through some daily habit plans to help you get into a healthy habit so you are healthy. Okay, speak like a leader. Check that out. It's coming soon. Uh, also, if you lead at people, you're private and you're public person, they don't match up, right? They just, it's a whole different person. It's Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde. Uh, you're, it's always your ideas that are implemented. Everything's got to go through you. You speak way more than you listen. You're the hero of your own story. You're the center. You're the center of everything. You're the sun, the moon, and the stars. Like we talked about, you're more concerned with the outward appearance than the inside. And if you lead at people, controlling is your absolute norm. It's your absolute norm. There's a better way to lead. Absolute better way to lead. Simon Sinek says it this way. Leadership is not about being in charge. Leadership is about taking care of those in your charge. The better way is to lead with people. Instead of leading through fear, control, and authority, lead with joy. Lead with trust. Lead with health. Lead with authenticity. Lead with a team-minded game plan to help your team improve. Because when you lead with people, you're going to prioritize each of those health areas. You're going to prioritize your emotional, your mental, your financial, your relational, your physical appearance. You're going to ask for ideas. You're going to continually be asking for people's opinions and you're going to be listening to them. You're going to breathe life into people with your words. That's what, that's what the with or at uh, is all about, right? When we, when we communicate with, when we lead with, when we present with, when we be virtual with, we're breathing life into people because healthy communication is oxygen for our, our leadership and our relationships. But when you don't, you suck life out of them. If you lead with people, you praise in public and you wait till you're in private to criticize or to have the hard conversations. Uh, you guide, you're the guide. You help other people succeed. You give credit to where it's due. And you bring joy. You bring laughter to your team. Which, which do you want? I mean, come on. We all want to lead with people, right? Well, here's the thing. This series we are launching into, we are, we are bringing you a mega, mega series. I am so very excited. Lead with people, not at them. Not only do we have some of the best leadership leaders, I mean, leadership gurus, experts out there. We just have some phenomenal human beings who are living this out. So let me go through this really, really quickly with you. Week one, Aaron Burke. He, he's going to talk about how to overcome obstacles. Week two, Damon Gerke. He's going to talk about how do I lead with authenticity. Uh, then we go to Steve Cockrum, this co-founder of Giant Worldwide. He's going to talk about how to communicate so your relationships thrive. Week two again, Eric Brooker. He's going to talk about how to, how to overcome your feelings of doubt and, and worthiness. Week three, I'm going to talk about talking to your family during the holidays. Don't waste that opportunity. And then Liza Maria Garcia is going to talk about clarity in our leadership. Then week four, Morty Hodge, CEO. He's going to talk about how to communicate difficult decisions. And then that same week, Araque Samanate, I know I pronounced her name wrong. She's our first international guest in the podcast. She's going to talk about how to, how to actually uh, communicate with impact. Then we, week five, we keep going. Erica Anderson, business guru, written five best-selling business books, How Do I Communicate Change? Jeff Caliguire, then that same week, how, how, to, how, to, how, to, how to create a, a, a healthy uh, workplace and culture. Week six, Harvard business prof Frank Cespedes talks about sales and communication and vision casting in this new day and age. Then it's Taylor Payne, who's a CEO, sales expert, talks about building systems. Week seven, Christina Probion talks about how to be obsessed with your client's success, your client's needs. Then we have Dr. Sarah Spolwert, who has more degrees than I'll, I'll ever be able to know, but she talks about how we can be happy and we can have mindfulness. And then week eight, Ralph Johnson, how to mentor the younger generations. And then Steve Woodruff, author of The Point, how to, how to win in your leadership with clarity. I mean, right? This series is going to be amazing. The second part of this series is the Leadership Collective. 
you are able on November 18th, I'm sorry, November 17th, to go to November 17th to go to speakwithpeople.com slash lead with people and you can download the Leadership Collective for free. This is a guide filled with 37 different leadership principles from leaders from around the country who want to help you learn what they've learned about leading with authenticity. This is going to be absolutely amazing. So get ready to experience the Leadership Collective on November 17th. Friday the 17th, you're able to go to speakwithpeople.com slash lead with people. Say that with me right now. Speakwithpeople.com slash lead with people. And you can download the free ebook that we called the Leadership Collective. This is a guide that's just filled with 37 different leadership principles from 37 different leaders from around the country who will help you uh, learn what they learned about leadership. And they've each provided a one line leadership principle that's helped guide them to lead with people, to be a leader who's authentic, who leads with joy and trust. So get ready. This series is gonna be absolutely amazing. We're so thankful that you are a part of it. I'm just gonna ask you this as a favor. Don't miss one episode. Listen to it. Uh, click that little button where you can copy the link. Text it to a friend. If you've never uh, left a review, if you've never liked or comment it on the podcast, please do. And then if you sit in a seat of some type of influence where you oversee people, you oversee students, you oversee workers, would you send the link, speakwithpeople.com slash lead with people to them because then they can download their own copy of the ebook and you can get that into as many hands as possible because we really think between the podcast and the leadership collective, this is going to be an incredible opportunity for all of us to improve greatly improve our leadership and make sure we're leading with people, not at them. Thanks so much for listening every single week to the podcast. Our hope is that our time together today helps you elevate the importance and practice of healthy communication in your life and leadership. When you do, you really will change your world with your words and with your leadership. Thanks so much. Now, instead of, instead of me saying, see you next week, I'm going to say, see you on Wednesday because we've got two podcasts that are launching this week. Do not miss the opening podcast of this series. It's going to be incredible. Thanks so much, and we'll see you on Wednesday.